Good morning students. Now I am starting reduction for matrices. We can call when it is one single matrix. We can say it is matrix. What is matrix? It is arrangement of numbers. Arrangement of or array of elements or numbers anything. It is called matrix. For example, you take A and we have to write in single notation. You write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Anything negative or positive doesn't matter. If it is, it is arranged in one order. You see this order, first row. It is called row. So we can say it is first row, that is row 1. Second row, so row 2. R for row. Same way, this is column 1, column 2, column 3. So this is a matrix. It is in one, one order. So this is one arrangement. Now we are going to find out in this what is the order of the matrix, order of the matrix. If you take any matrix, if you write in this way, any matrix, 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 5. If you see this matrix, how many rows here? 1, 2, 3. So row 1, row 2. Row 3, column 1, column 2, column 3. Here, we can write this order of the matrix A. Order of the matrix A is 3 by 3. We cannot call 3 into 3. We will call 3 by 3. Where first 3 is row. Second one, we can say column. That is row by column. This is order of the matrix. For example, if you say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What is the order of the matrix here? 1, 2, 3. 3 rows. 1, 2. 2 columns. So, 3 by 2 matrix. Okay. Now, when you find here itself, we are going to find out types of matrices. Different types of matrices. Any matrix, if only row is there, then we can call row matrix. Single row is there, we can call row matrix. Suppose you have only column, one single column. It is called column matrix. Suppose you have only zeros in any matrix, then it is called zero matrix or null matrix now you can say what is diagonal matrix we are going to see what is diagonal matrix when you have any matrix if you take 3 by 3 matrix Three rows, three columns. If you have only in the diagonal numbers are there, any number, then we can say it may be positive or negative. But only if you see this diagonal, this is only, no, don't take this diagonal, take right side diagonal, only this diagonal, then it is called diagonal matrix. In the same diagonal matrix, if you see what is scalar matrix, we are going to see. The same matrix, if you take 4, 4, 4, same elements appear in the diagonal, same numbers, then it is called scalar matrix. Now we are going to see what is unit matrix. In the same 3 by 3 row matrix, suppose you get only one number 1 in the diagonal all other elements are zero then it is called unit matrix this can be written as i3 i mean identity matrix or unit matrix i3 so only number one will be there you can see identity matrix also. suppose in two rows if you have only two rows two columns if you have this is also called as identity matrix or unit matrix, but we have to write it as I2. So, 
so now you can see if they ask you to differentiate scalar and diagonal matrix in the diagonals non zero elements appears then it is called diagonal matrix but in the matrix if the diagonals are having same elements or same numbers then it is called scalar matrix here different numbers so it is diagonal matrix now we are going to see transpose transpose of the matrix what is transpose for example if you take a is 5 6 1 0 just for example you take what is a transpose a transpose is you can change columns to rows first column to first row what are getting 5 minus 1 is first column i have written here as row same way second column 6 row 6 0 i am writing in second row so changing columns to rows or rows to column changing columns to rows first column taken as first row second column taken as second row it is transpose otherwise changing rows to column first row is 5 6 taken as column first column second row is minus 1 0 taken as second column so if you see in both the cases you can do either change rows to column or columns to rows it is called transpose of the matrix there is one formula transpose you it is for the same matrix if you do twice it is a power t power t then it is answer is a for example if you see a power t is 5 minus 1 now find out a power t again a power t power t for the a power t this is a you got a transpose here for this a transpose again you find one more transpose what will you get changing now columns to rows what will you get minus 1 0 are you getting same a that's why i said a power t power t equal to a changing columns to rows or rows to column is a transpose matrix it is symbol is a power t the formula is a power t power t equal to a that is for finding a power t you are getting this again for this transpose again you do one more transpose you will get the answer 5 6 minus 1 which is equal to a now what is negative of the matrix negative of a matrix for example a is 5 6 same example you take negative matrix a is you have to take minus of 5 6 minus 1 0 otherwise in, a, in other words directly change the sign minus 2 here it is plus change it to minus here also plus change it to minus here it is minus change it to plus so change minus to plus plus to minus 0 you no need to do anything with 0 so this is called negative of the matrix so now you know what is negative of your matrix either take the symbol outside then multiply with the inside elements with the sign otherwise negative of the matrix short form is inside a what is your elements with the sign change plus 2 minus minus 2 plus this is negative of the matrix now we are going to do addition of matrices because addition subtraction we are going to do for two matrix that's why i have written addition of the matrices for example if i take an a is 5 minus 1 0 minus 6 b is equal to minus 1 minus 2 4 6 now addition means remember there is a row the order must be equal what is the order of the matrix here 2 by 2 here also 2 by 2 when you have same order remember it is called square matrix when the order of the matrix is equal 
For example, 3 by 3 matrix, square matrix, 4 by 4 matrix, square matrix. When rows and columns are equal, orders are equal, then it is called square matrix. Doesn't mean the element, only the order. For example, here this order is 2 by 2. Here also order is 2 by 2. So, when the both order are equal, it is called square matrix. When any matrix order equal, rows and columns are equal, then it is called square matrix because it is in square type. And the other rule is addition of matrices. The rule is both matrices order must be equal. Addition and subtraction we cannot do if the order is not equal. You have to find out first order. Whether suppose if it is 3 by 2 means order of the matrix one we are going to add that matrix also 3 by 2. So remember for addition subtraction order of the matrix is must be equal. Ok how we are going to add it. For example addition means we know plus sign A plus B. First write the elements of A. What is it? A element 0 minus 6. Write all the elements of A plus what is the B? B is minus 1, minus 2, 4, 6. Now we are going to add. How to add it? Okay. First write first element. 5. Here with the first element. Respective places. First element of first matrix plus first element of second matrix. Second, then leave space. Then second element of mass first matrix plus second element of second matrix. Same way, first element plus first element in the second matrix. Same way here, first element plus second matrix, same place, corresponding places. So it is. 5 plus into minus is minus. Always already I told different sign when you multiply it will be minus. Here minus 1 plus into minus 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 2. Now because it is multiplication. Here 0 plus 4. Sign alone we are multiplying. Not numbers. Numbers either we have to add or subtract. Here minus 6 plus 6. What will you get? 5 minus 1 actually. Subtraction. Great number sign 4. But here same sign. Added. Put that sign. 2 and plus 1 is 3. But sign is same sign is minus. So put that sign. Now 0 plus 4. 0 with any number. Same number. Same number. It is 6 minus 6. When you get same number with different sign. It is 0. So a plus b is 4 minus 3. This is your addition of the matrix. Remember one more thing. In matrix, for example, you take 4, 5, minus 1, 6, minus 7, 0. Actually, matrix is places, positions are first element is A11, second element is A12, third element is A13. A21, A22, A23. Suppose third row is there means A31, A32, A33. This way only the elements are arranged. What is A11? You know this is row 1. This is row 2. Row 1, row 2, row 3. And we know this is column 1, column 2, column 3. So first place. First row, first column. First row, Second column, first row, third column. Same way, second row, first column, second row, second column, second row, third column. Third row, first column, third row, second column, third row, third column. This is only places in matrices. For example, if they ask you 4 is in which place, which place 4 is here, first row, first column. So A11. So 5 is A12. Minus 1 is A13. Suddenly they ask which place 0. Immediately you have to calculate in mind. This is second row, but third column. So A, 2, 3. So your answer for A, 2, 3 is 0. Now children, you understand this one? This concept?
now we are going to for example okay they ask you a to 2 what is the answer for a to 2 second row second column this is second row second column is minus 7 so the answer is minus 7 sometimes they will ask you okay what is the position for 5 what is the position for 5 in matrix first row second column first row second column so when you understand this concept okay now we are going to subtraction of matrices What is subtraction of matrices? For example, A is minus 1 plus 4 minus 3, 0. And B is given 5 minus 6, 6, 7. Okay, this is just for example taken. You know, addition or subtraction, order must be equal when you take two matrices. What is the order of A matrix? 2 rows, 2 columns. So, it is 2 by 2 matrix. Here also 2 rows, 2 columns, 2 by 2 matrix. When you find both matrix or orders are equal, then immediately you know you can apply subtraction or addition. What are they ask? What is it? What is subtraction? A minus B. They ask you to find out A minus B. What you are going to do? Remember, a11 place means you have to do with A11 place. This, this place, corresponding places. Don't take, suppose, for, this is called in matrix, you know, A11 place. Here, A11 place. So, same. This is 2 only you have to subtract. You cannot subtract minus 1 with minus 6. So, remember, corresponding places. First row, first column. First element taken means here also, first row, first element must be taken. For subtraction or addition. This is a rule. Okay, now minus 1, first write A, minus 1, 4, minus 3, 0, minus B means, take it as plus B and take the sign inside, minus sign, take it inside. And in other words, remember, this can be written as A plus of minus B, that is A matrix, write it, plus B matrix, take the B matrix, Change the sign inside. So what you are getting? Plus will be minus. Minus will be plus. So this is a, we are doing in matrix subtraction also in addition. This is possible. This is an easy way to do subtraction. Okay. Now you know first element with first, second with second. So you cannot change interchange and do it. Or you cannot take minus 3 with minus 5. So minus 1, minus 5. It is plus only. So write it as it is. No need to worry about the sign, it is plus, so just write the sign what was there. 4 plus 6. Minus 3, minus 6, 0, minus 7. So A minus B is minus 1, minus 6 is, you know, same sign, add it, write that sign. So minus 1, minus 6, minus 1, minus 5 is minus 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. Minus 9, 0, minus 7 means minus 7. So children, you understand subtraction? If you have doubt, go through once again. We are doing, if you have doubt in any place, go through video once or twice. So you will uh, understand very clearly the concept of matrices.